Now I've been lucky enough to have spent pretty much the last year filming and talking about a load of microbrands, each with their own unique design quirks, specifications and price points ranging from $200 right up to $2000. So when Castle and Gazelle sent me two of their watches, with each watch coming in at only $95, I thought well this could be fun, mainly because Castle and Gazelle's main focus is to deliver beautiful art onto 3D printed dials. Today we're looking at two watches. One, their flagship watch called the Zelige Blue, and also the Shamsar Gold, and how they were inspired by art from the Islamic world. And stick around as I take both watches to Cannon Hall Farm in Yorkshire Sculpture Park, sat in the lovely rolling Pennine Hills of England. As ever, it's great to have you here. But before we do anything else, here's the watcher's spec in 90 seconds. Since I started my channel in March of 2022, when I took my obsession with microbrand watches and my other obsession with creating content on Premiere Pro and put the two together, I've been lucky enough to film brilliant microbrands such as Burblu, Van Banner and Holgar, as well as pre-Kickstarter launch micros such as Sherwood, Benclair and Namo, and so many more. So when Castle and Gazelle sent me the Zelige Blue and the Samshar Gold, I was really excited to be looking at a sub $100 watch that puts most of their focus into the design of 3D printed dials that celebrates calligraphy, botanical imagery and geometric patterns of Islamic art, whilst maintaining a vision, so Castle and Gazelle claim, to create simple, modern and elegant watches. Now Castle and Gazelle are a fairly newish brand too, founded in 2021 in New York and headed by Osman Minas, who I've been chatting to a lot recently, really trying to get a sense of his vision, his inspiration, whilst also trying to delve deep into the culture and history that inspired the design of these watches. So as mentioned in my 90 second spec, all Castle and Gazelle watches come in at very slim 7.8mm thick, 40mm case diameter, 46.5 lug to lug and it's 20 millimeters at the lug with a genuine leather strap tapering down to 17 millimeters at the stainless steel buckle. The case itself is made from stainless steel also and sports a hardened mineral crystal and is powered by a Miota 2035 quartz movement giving the wearer an extremely reliable accurate and durable movement and all Castle and Gazelle models provide water resistance up to 50 meters. So spec wise you kind of have everything you'd expect from a sub $100 watch. But what's really special about Castle and Gazelle are those beautiful dials that are inspired by art found in the Islamic world. Even the indices and hands are very simple in design to allow for that dial to speak for itself. And the inspiration behind the design of their flagship watch, the Zelige Blue, 
comes from Moroccan tile work, which is usually made from individually hand chiseled tile pieces and are typically of many different colours and fitted together to form various patterns like these elaborate geometric motifs and specifically the design of the Zilij blue is inspired by the stunning blue fountains of the famous Hassan II mosque in Casablanca and the Shamshar gold inspired from the designs of Islamic illustrated manuscripts otherwise called a tazip. On its case you'll find a stunning blue sunburst of interwoven botanical patterns contrasting against a very striking orange and surrounds a central basmala inscription which translates to in the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. And those designs are intricately rendered into a 3D printed dial and currently Castle and Gazelle have four designs, the Zilij blue, the Samshar gold but also the Alhambra red whose beautiful 3D printed dial derived from the stonework of the Alhambra Palace in Granada in Andalusian Spain. But also the azure green which sports a honeycomb of turquoise and surrounds a very intricate central disc of orange, green, blue and grey. All of which was inspired by the magnificent tile work of the Jamhe Mosque in Yazd in Iran. On the wrist the designs really pop out and with Castle and Gazelle's watches really exhibiting that nice big dial over anything else, the 40mm case diameter feels a lot more like a 41 or 42 on my 7.5 inch wrist. Now going back to the owner Osman, he's a physician living in Leesburg, Virginia in the United States and before going to medical school he worked as a graphic designer so had a passion for art and design and also product design. One day while studying Islamic art, Osman started making some mock-ups of watch designs and experimented in Photoshop to try and adapt the famous examples of Islamic art and architecture and incorporate them into watch styles. And that's pretty much how Castle and Gazelle was born. And the name itself Castle and Gazelle is derived from a famous water clock called Castle and Gazelle and created by Calaf al Muradi, an inventor in Islamic Spain in the 11th century and which used dripping water to trigger mechanisms that would move figurines at hourly intervals to tell a story. Going forward Castle and Gazelle hope to continue to develop and evolve their existing range but for me quite critically hope to develop a mechanical range with potentially improved cases and straps so keep a lookout for how this micro brand grows and develops. For me my personal obsession with watches goes well beyond just a decent specification or a decent movement. It's about delving into a story, a passion and influences that stretch way beyond many cultures deep into history and wildly into imagination. Micro brands for me provides me plenty to stretch my own imagination and takes me deep into cultures and mindsets that were otherwise unknown to me. That's the beauty of being a microband enthusiast and that's exactly what Castle and Gazelle delivers. Good morning Castle and Gazelle. <laughs> yeah, he's having a drink. Now they should go with it. Buzz Light, I'm leaving the charge. Buzz Light, I'm now being caught by the favourite, Louis Lamelton, who's not out to this yet. <laughs> right boys, time for a quick switch up.
We are back! <laughs>